Hey there, Louis Yacobelis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a task in Tasks by Planner and to do whenever you flag an email in Microsoft Outlook. Now, before we get started, I'll just do a quick walkthrough of Tasks by Planner and To Do. Okay, the Tasks by Planner and To Do app actually features two separate task lists. The first part, which is referred to as My Tasks, this actually represents tasks that you create in the Microsoft To Do application. So these are tasks that you create um, yourself. These are individual task assignments, okay? Uh, and the second part is the Shared Plans or Planner. These represent task lists that are added to a channel of a team, okay? So these represent sort of collaborative task lists that you create in the context of a team. Now. This is a bit of a gap on Microsoft's part because if you are using the Microsoft to-do application to manage your, your own individual task assignments, you can actually push flagged emails over into the to-do application. But unfortunately, those emails will not show up in tasks by Planner and to-do. Now to demonstrate this feature, I'm going to open the Microsoft to-do web app. So you can see here in the to-do web app that there is a flagged email task list that's included right out of the box. So if you actually click into the app settings and click on to-do settings and scroll down, you can see here that there is this option to automatically create tasks from emails or messages that you flagged. Okay, but again, doing this is not going to make those emails or tasks uh, visible in task by planner and to-do. Now, the way that we're going to push those emails over into tasks by planner and to do, uh, the first thing that you want to do is you actually want to create a new task list under the my tasks to do section of task by planner and to do. So to do that, you wanna click on new list or plan. Okay, and you wanna give this a name that's going to make it easily identifiable. Um, I'm going to call mine flow flag email. Okay, and you want to have this list create in my tasks. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on create. And you can see here, I now have a new task list that's under the my tasks to do section of task by planner and to do. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to go to flow.microsoft.com. Okay, and you want to log in. Uh, and there's two ways that you can create this flow. Uh, the first way, which is pretty simple, is to use a templated flow. So you want to type flagged email in the search box here. And you can see this brings up a list of templated flows that are available for you to use right out of the box. Uh, you want to go ahead and click on create a Microsoft to do business task for flagged emails in Office 365. Now, these templated flows are awesome because, again, you don't really have to do anything to use these. They're, they're very easy to set up. Um, and what you want to do here is you've, if you've not used Flow before or you've not connected to either Office 365 Outlook or Microsoft To Do, you'll be prompted to put in your credentials, okay, and to grant the app permission to access those accounts or those apps. Um, I've already done this, so you can see I'm ready to go, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Continue. Okay, uh, and this is going to bring up the actual Flow Designer interface. So the first thing that you'll want to do here is in your trigger box, which is when an email is flagged, you can specify the mail folder that you want to monitor for those emails that are flagged. Okay, if you only have access to your email, then you can just leave this as is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on inbox here, just to make sure it's clear which inbox I'm monitoring. Again, I only have access to one inbox in my Outlook. Okay, uh, and then the next step here is to specify in the add a to do action, uh, which list this task should be created in. Okay, and you can see here that um, using this template, the subject of your email is automatically going to populate in the subject of this task field. Okay, and the body of the task is going to populate with um, the content of the email. Okay, and you want to click into the to do list field. This is going to show you all of those task lists that were visible in tasks by planner and to do. And you can see here my flow flagged email list that I created. I'm going to go ahead and click into this and I'm going to click on save. Okay. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and test this. So I'm going to click on test and I'm going to click on manually to trigger my flow. Okay. Now I'm going to go over into my outlook web app. 
Okay, and I have this email here that says review this report ASAP. Okay, and what I am going to do is I am going to flag this. Now I'm gonna go back into Power Automate and you can see that the flow ran successfully. Okay, and if we now click into tasks by planner and to do, and we click into this flow flagged email, you can see here, review this report ASAP. Now the other way that you can create this flow is essentially to create it from scratch. Okay, uh, and why would I wanna create this flow from scratch when I can use the template? Well, um, you can use the template and modify it or perhaps you want to include some different parameters. So creating it from scratch is just another alternative. Okay, uh, and if you wanna create this from scratch, you wanna click on create. Okay, and you wanna click automated cloud flow and you want to give this a name. I'm just gonna call this flagged email tasks. Okay, and then you want to search for your trigger and we can type in flag. And you can see here when an email is flagged V3, we're just gonna use the most recent version and we're gonna go ahead and click on create. All right, so you wanna go ahead and click on new step. And in the choose an action box, you wanna search for Microsoft to do. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that connector and you want to click on add a to-do v3, okay? Uh, and here it's going to ask you to specify the list. And again, we're going to select that list we just created, which is flow flagged email. And in the title of this task, okay, you wanna click into this and you can backspace out the content that was included there. This is gonna bring up the dynamic content pane Okay, uh, and what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to pipe in content from the email that triggered this flow. Okay, so I'm going to add the subject of the email into the title of this task. Okay, uh, and then again, you could put in other information if you would like, such as due date, uh, importance, status. Uh, I'm just going to click into the body content of the task. And what I'm going to do is click body here in the dynamic content pane. And again, that's going to allow me to pipe in the content from that email. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click save. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and test this. So I'm gonna click on test. I'm gonna click manually and I'm gonna click on test. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna move over into Outlook and I'm going to flag this new email that just came in that says update status report. We're gonna go back to flow. We can see here that this flow has executed and we can see that this flow ran successfully. Now let's just go back to tasks by planner and to do to verify this. So I'm just gonna click out of my list and come back into it. And we can see here that the flagged email update status report is now logged as a task in my flow flagged email list. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial to show you how you can create a task and have that task be visible in tasks by Planner and To-Do from a flagged email in Outlook. Again, this is just until Microsoft realizes that they should add this functionality out of the box. Uh, and I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please like it, please drop a comment below. And most importantly, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Power Automate tutorials. Thanks for stopping by, talk to you soon.